I guess I'm insecure because I can't can't no. take being found out. But no, to your point, my friend, <laughs> it's, I don't know. I mean, she's like, look, these look real. And I'm like, look, they look pretty good. They do. But I see a difference. I don't know. Oh my God. We have to do a whole segment on the reels, the fakes and who can see them. I'm going to order some because there's, they're like 200 bucks off of these sites in China. They apparently take weeks. They're very slow to get there. And then people say they can't even tell the difference. The Gucci flats look so good. I guess um, I just need to see, but like, I guess I saw the bracelets and I didn't think, but I mean, I guess we got, yeah. So first of all, this podcast guest would be great if he could come on and start naming like Courtney, like Courtney uh, Kardashian has, I mean, I don't think the Kardashians have any fakes, but like, you know, I don't know. Jennifer Aniston has two fake Hermeses and six real ones. Like I'd I like bet. to know, I'd like to know stuff I like people, that. Like, I'm, I bet it's people like Brie Larson, like people that like, you wouldn't, but you know, it wouldn't shock me if the Kardashians, so much of their shit's fake. I would not be shocked. Would you? I wouldn't be shocked. And, and I'm saying like, I'm not saying you need to, I just under, like to me, it's like, why not just buy like a regular bag? That's not trying to be a brand because at that point. If you buy the real, how, I mean, the trends change every year. Like you're not going to be able to keep up. Like you can't, most people, and these reality stars do not make enough money. They're not going to, spend 25 35 50 thousand dollars a year on bags the only people that can do that are like kyle kathy you know even this is what Chloe i love money rena. courtney money. Caris, Wait, I, <laughs> I love about rena rena is like the cheapest mofo you have she ever realized. i think rena buys and i wouldn't be shocked if rena's shit's fake I wouldn't, that one, that one surprised me. Speaking of which, two things. One, Rinna, let's see if it's true. Because, you know, I'm very skeptical. Rinna posted uh, today, what a way to end a year. Movie deal. So I think Rinna got a movie. She got a part. I love so it. That's what I'm she like posted. That. I love Rinna. You guys know I'm team Rinna. I'm okay with Rinna. Um, but I guess the whole point with Jen Shaw is like, like I've seen some bags because I'm such a Louis enthusiast. Like that is my brand. The way, you know, like, so when I see Louie, like I, she's, I, she's on the ski slope. She has that pink see-through Louie. I'm sitting there clocking, like, well, I, I know for a fact that that bag is like 13 grand. So it's like, it's just, I think that's the problem is like, I don't know. I guess Bravo doesn't have an obligation, but like when you see these bags in the shots, maybe not everyone notices them, but I think a lot of people do. And I think that's part of the like allure of housewives they're supposed to have money and be living this life do you know what i mean i guess that's the problem i have with it it's like now it's on tv i don't know does bravo have an obligation i mean i sound crazy listen like with all the things that i don't get passionate over i guess i'm passionate over like fakes it's just like doesn't it. bravo have like an, a it's like we're looking at this woman like to me like i clock it like oh wow i see three love bracelets on her i see two just to clue the nail i see three loot and it's all fake. So it's like, I don't know. It's It changes the illusion a little bit, right? Like, it, it's, am I making any sense? Yeah, no, you are. I feel like a lot of people feel the way that you do. But I, I think now being in the entertainment business for so long and being on so many shows where so much was fake, just, the public it thought is. that it was real, nothing, it wouldn't shock me if the Kardashians half the shit was fake. It wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't believe, I don't even know that they're worth as much as they say they're worth. Well, we know they're not. Really? We know that Kylie- Remember that controversy? She was the first self-made billionaire, but then they it came out that she faked all her W-2s. Guys, it's all- it, This like, is watch crazy. Spencer, watch Spencer Pratt. I feel like Spencer Pratt is the, the one that like takes down the curtain of all this stuff and knows how fake they are. So it's really, crazy. Spencer is like us. He is of the people. He's of the peeps. Okay, you wait, know what I wait, but no. you know what I love before you go. You know what I love? Um, because we have to talk about Jen Shah just for two seconds. You know what I yeah. love is that. I think as a franchise, if you want my, it's like me to roll the dice, the franchises that in general are fake. And you know what shockingly is not fake. I think Jersey, Salt Lake, Potomac, Jersey, Salt Lake, Potomac, and the OC. If you see a bad guys, it's fake. <laughs> Potomac, Jersey, Salt Lake, and the OC, 99%. It's shit. The shit's fake. And Atlanta, depending oh upon... God. <laughs> who it is not, not Marlo and not Kenya, but a lot of it, not Candy. But you know what shockingly is the franchise that's not fake? Duber, Tiffany Moon, and Cameron Westcott. Those girls, that shit's real. 
if you go follow Terry Duber on, on Instagram, Tiffany oh. Moon, Dallas, that's real money. Um, before you go and run off, what do you think of the statement on Jen? Guys, this was just supposed to be a quick, like, little recap. Like, it was Sarah's. Um, I think it's, it's like, a cop out. I, you know, I guess you guys kind of know how I feel about Jen. I'm, I don't I'm, think she was invited. Do you? <sighs> I don't buy it. You know, she says she was she was disinvited and then invited, and now because she won't discuss her case, she's decided not to go. I don't. I think it's bullshit. I don't think she was invited. Look, it goes back to what I've said from the start about her on this podcast. How can you believe anything she said? She's a full lie. She's a complete liar. So I took that. I actually believed it at first. Um, and I thought, you know, she, I actually believed the statement that they wanted her to come. Yeah, because I think she doesn't want to go because she's going to be outed as a complete liar. And why does she want? Now it makes it look like, I think in her mind, she's like protecting Stewart, and, you know, she's taking, like if she has to go and Andy holds her feet to the fire and the audience does, I think you're going to see her as a complete liar and scammer that she is. But now if we're, cause you know, if she's not going to do the reunion, we're not getting a special. So how are you, how are we ever going to know really the evidence or what really happened that led her to plead guilty? I think she's a complete fraudster. And I think they were like, yeah, you're going to come on and do the reunion and we're going to ask you anything we want. And she was like, Okay, why would I? Because we don't know. She could incriminate Coach. You know, again, people have said, like, Coach benefited from all this stuff. Yeah, Coach is, like, revered. Like, where Erica benefited from Tom's crimes and she's destroyed, Coach is, like, no one says anything bad about Coach. So uh, I, I, That I don't understand either, to be honest with you. I really don't. That's he slipped me. in these rented mansions and these Mercedes and all this stuff. And I just think that she knows if the truth comes out about her, she'll be completely villainized. Where now she's going to go to a cushy jail. She can write a book. You know, I think in her mind, because I think, I don't know what she's thinking, but she probably thinks maybe she could appear on some other reality show or do her own special. Um, uh-huh. But no, I actually, I actually believed it. But to your point, how can we believe anything this woman says? You are correct that this, they may have said from the start, you're not coming. I just read it. Look, at I mean, those are all valid points. I just read it so the opposite. I read like this woman crashed BravoCon and, you know, people, people still defend her. People are now going to make nasty comments. People point out now that they, they, they see a difference. They don't agree with us. They see a difference between Shaw and, and Jane. Which I mean, is what? Uh, I, which is what? Which is what? They have all oh. Shaw, because Erica knew, and she has Cartier leopards, and Shaw's a nice guy. And I don't see any difference. I'm with you on that. And people are now going to, but I agree. They say, oh, they say she didn't even crash BravoCon. No, I heard that she was, they paid for the room and the, and they let her take the flight anyway. She crashed BravoCon. She's, according to Tamrat, she 